Okay, it's connected. Hey! Hold on, am I too high up? Can you see me now? Oh, can you hear me? Oh, now I can hear you. Okay, 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 okay for sure. So, wait, why was all my... I was, like, telling people, hold on, y'all. Babes are not here yet. And it was... <laughs> well, I'm what you doing? That is so crazy. I'm... How are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing so good, girl. I'm in album mode right now. That's so good. At the studio working, actually, as we speak. I'm glad you putting these EPs out back to back. These oh, albums out back so to much. back. Thank you so much. Okay, so I have some of my followers here, and of course, a lot of y'all are yours. So for everybody who follows me that doesn't follow Beja, go ahead and tell them who you are. So my name is Beja Rodriguez. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I sing and I write. Um, I was formerly in a girl group called the OMG Girls, and I've been doing my own thing for like three years now. I have three amazing EPs, well, four now, mm -hmm. amazing EPs that are out, and um, they've all charted on the iTunes chart, like in the top 10. I've also charted on Billboard as well. Um, right. I have like several videos out, and you know, I'm just doing my thing now, so I'm really excited about it all. That's good. A lot of people, when they're young, they don't stick to it like you stick to it. Like, somebody yeah. got to be on their ass, like, getting them <laughs> to do music. Like, people really have to be on them. But I've seen you grow, like, from the original OMG Girls to then you, Brianna, and uh -huh. Monique, like, grow. And as an artist, y'all literally, like, collectively, y'all are dope. Thank Separately, you so are much. Amazing, like, bomb and shit. Like, Thank you so you guys, much. I was first introduced, like, just to y'all's group. My husband, he used to work at um, Soul Asylum as an intern. Oh, wow. He was like, I seen some girls with some pink hair and some blue hair. They was in their packs. And I was like, what are you <laughs> talking about, dude? We used to stay up at Soul Asylum, too. I still, like, will go up to Soul Asylum to this day and, like, do rehearsal. That's where I did my video rehearsals at. Uh-huh. And he was like, they got pink and they look like Starburst. I'm like, what is this dude talking about? <laughs> so then, you know, TV is like a little slower. So then I, right. I'm sitting on TV and I was like, this, one, this is what you're talking about? This is <laughs> the behind the scenes and stuff. So your dad is a part of Silk, which took me forever yes. to figure out. Yes, I had to like yes. connect the eyebrows and stuff. Because I'm like, yo, I'm <laughs> always on fleek. Oh, like, man. Thank you. I'm glad you think that. But sometimes they really don't do that. <laughs> they don't be on fleek all the time. I was like, this one got to be her daddy because look at his eyebrows and look at hers. Like, they're always – when we <laughs> see you, though, so they're always perfect when we see you. Yeah. With him being in music, did that play, like, a big part for you, or was it just something that you always wanted to do? Well, actually, I'm going to be really honest. It really played no role in me wanting to do music because he wasn't a part of my life growing mm -hmm. up. So my love for music just came from – me just discovering music on my own and my mom will always put me on to all of these super fire super dope um artists you know what i'm saying right. female artists that look like me i love britney spears growing up i love okay. destiny's child and spice girls and just all different types of music and then i got put on the brandy and Monica, uh -huh. and lauren hill and then that's when i really was like oh, okay this is something that i could really really do Right. You know, and so that's kind of where my love for music just came from because my mom would always have just all of the fly R&B girls playing in the car, mm -hmm. the Aaliyahs, um, just everybody. I mean, 702, like, just anybody dope, Faith Evans, Mary J. Blige, like, she had it all in her car. So mm -hmm. I would just always be listening to really fire um, black female artists who did Shout music. out to your mama because she, like, the really supporter I be seeing. She is, like, the my number queen. one fan. She is, your mama is everything. I'd be like, everything say, to me. Thank you so much. She's everything. I'd be like, don't get in her comments, y'all, because y'all know her mama apparently will light got you no up. chill. Like, she's <laughs> about this life. Do right. Do not in her comments with it. So, shout out to your mama. Absolutely. Your mama is just like everybody else's mama. She, shout out to moms. You know, yes. She's, she's always in my corner now. Sorry, my, my thing paused. But I just so, like, appreciate her for everything. No, it's she, fine. Mm -hmm. on behalf of me i love it um so now what is it like a day in the life of beja because right now i see like zanique and everybody's gone to cabo or whatever yeah and i see you in the studio so what is it like like just being you well like my day is like just non-stop work you feel me like i, right. I wake up um at one o'clock i'm in the studio i'm in the studio from one to seven 
-hmm. or like one to eight really just however long i want to go and i'm uh -huh. just constantly working uh, as soon as i get up i'm on the phone with um my team we're just talking about the album we're talking about what we have coming up and what we're trying to do for the top of the year right. um and that my day is just constantly just talking and executing and planning what i'm right. about to do you know and especially right now because we're getting ready for my album in first quarter uh -huh. so right now we're pretty much just talking about everything that we need to get done in terms of the album i'm in talks i'm always in the studio now like for the next two weeks, I'm in the studio every day, Monday through yeah. Friday, for like one to seven. So that's yeah. like my whole day, you know, that's, like. That's a good thing. I'm telling you like a mini Beyonce, bro, because. Oh, thank you. I'm t I'm like, if you go back and like look at y'all's music from OMG Girls, y'all kept coming hit after hit. And then when we go to iTunes and we search for you, it's EP after EP, album after album. Like, it's not a break, which is an amazing thing because we thank got grown so much. Up we waiting on grown-ups to put out music. It's like 10 years later, and we're like, y'all fire gonna die down, and it's always <laughs> gonna be somebody better than you, but your your work ethic is, is bomb, man. Like, Thank you so much. If anybody tell you any different, be like, nah, bro, you got me mixed up with somebody else. <laughs> that is not it. So well, Thank you. I appreciate that. With the OMG girls and the Beja you are today, if you had to do it all over again, would you do it all over again? Um... Yeah, I mean, I would. I, I would still do it the exact same way because I feel like, you know, everything in life, it happens for a reason and it happens to right. like, teach you something. Mm -hmm. And when I was um in the group, I was able to learn so much so early, mm -hmm. you know, and I was so grateful for that experience, even if I experienced something, you know, negative or mm -hmm. something that wasn't just, you know, always good. It still taught me a lesson. And I'm glad I was able to learn that being 15, 16, 17, 18, right. opposed to me being 22 now, next year going on 23, and I'm learning those type of lessons right now in my right. life, you know, so I, I would definitely do it all over again, and plus, I had an amazing time, like, just right. touring and being on the road with the girls, and, like, I mean, we had so much fun, so, you know, I wouldn't even ever change how any of it happened, because it, it was a fun experience, and it was a good learning experience for me. And it's dope that y'all still friends. I can say, yeah. you honestly, don't see, like, a lot of groups that break up and they're actually friends like yeah i'm I, I i felt that was important because you know me and Nick, obviously we have been best friends all our life right you know so um and and brie i've been knowing brie now you know since really for like five six seven years now um mm -hmm. and then of course like my sister is my sister so i've right. known her her whole <laughs> life and then i've known nay since she was nine ten years old right you know, so I just think it's important to just hold on to, um, you know, just friendships with people, you yeah. know, and when you friends with somebody like y'all just go through different phases of life and different mm -hmm. experiences together. And I'm just so grateful to have shared that one with um, all of them. And especially, yeah. I mean, in my sister, of course, but definitely your sister, the little firecracker. I'm telling you, it's like your <laughs> she mom is, girl. and then your sister and then you. A lot of people like when I used to blog about y'all, I used to be like, Oh no, the one with the pink hair. No, that's the mean one. That's the one that's this, that, and the other. And as time progresses, I'm like, have y'all seen her mama? Have y'all seen her sister? <laughs> just, just pick one because I don't think between them, I think she kind of like at the bottom, bottom. I don't think, I mean, you know, a lot of people go off of facial expressions and just, yeah. sometimes people just catch you looking at something like, yeah, know? my sister is always like, yeah, like, you know, it like, is what it is, whatever. So, that's my with, girl, though. I, I I can tell that's the <laughs> baby man. So with the coldest winter, how did you come up with that title? Um, I came up with the title really with the intention to always be able to do something like that around mm -hmm. that time of the year. So when I came up with coldest winter, I just felt like it was like really a dope winter vibe, and really it was gonna be coldest winter volume one. Mm -hmm. You know, but I'm, I'll call it Coldest Winter Volume 2 when I do it again next winter. But I just named it um, Coldest Winter with the intent to always put out music during the wintertime. Because I feel like people love when I'm, you know, like in my feelings and I yes. like those type of records. The really sad, not sad, but the really slow kind of R&B driven records, you right. know, and especially around that time. So that's probably why I chose to come up with that name. Okay. So I actually enjoy all your songs is there a Thank song you. in particular that's your favorite on this on this on this last one 
I think my favorite would have to be probably Ron Dirty. Well, really, all the new ones are kind of my favorite, but I think Ron Dirty is, like, my team's favorite across the board. Right. You know, but I've been getting so many people who tell me that they just love Put It Down and that they Mm -hmm. also love Call On Me. So it's a really hard choice for me. Like, I feel like my favorite songs switch up depending on, like, what day it is. Right, right, right. Are there any future, and I'm talking about original OMG Girls and the three of y'all, like, Uh music or anything coming? Um, at this current time, no. I don't foresee any, like, of our old music or new music coming out. I think all of us are just focused on our solo endeavors right now. And, you know, we have been together for so long doing the group thing, like, especially me, me and Neek. Um, we have been in OMG Girls since we were 12 years old. Right. You know, so now I think that we're just, everybody's just comfortable with just being their own individual. And um, I'm not saying that it, it maybe it will happen, you know, mm-hmm. in the future, but I don't foresee it right now. That's dope. Well, whenever it happens, I'm ready to promo it. <laughs> whenever your next album come in, I'm ready to promo it. But I definitely think you're very inspiring young lady. Thank you so it. much. I appreciate that. All of the ladies younger than you and of your age, because a lot of people get discouraged. Yeah. And I keep I keep reposting this meme. It's like of a bunch of bread on one owl. Yeah. And it was like, if you know, if they can all do it, then so can you. It's just about how you present it, how you deliver. And I honestly think you up there, bro. Like, I'm, I'm waiting, you know, for everybody else to realize a lot of people like to sleep on what you call good talent. Yeah. And I always say your talent is the dopest when you can turn all the background vocals off and you can just sing live. You can sing live. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank <laughs> you. No, I, I really appreciate that. You know, and I'm just trying to go hard every day to just perfect my craft and just perfect myself as an artist and as a person, you know. And I think that's just the beauty of my journey is that I've just been able to kind of recreate myself so many different times and right. learn so many different things and do so many different things. So like, I think my album would definitely be like an eye opener to a lot of people who may not have paid attention to me. You know, mm-hmm. I think the album, it's really fire and I'm really putting a lot into it and all my resources. And I just think it's going to be dope. I think people are really going to be surprised. I'm excited. I'm sitting here trying to, like, read the questions and talk to you at the same time. Like, what? Oh, let me get a charger, too, because my phone is going to die. Can I see the charger that you on right now? Sorry. Sorry. No, you good. You good. You good. I'm done with I all my questions. I thought my phone was going to last week, girl. It did not. <laughs> I'm done with all my questions. I just want to tell you, keep doing oh, everything that you are literally doing. Oh, okay, thank you stop. so much. I really appreciate that. Well, right now, I'm working on my album. Um, I'm working on just really my video and really just rolling my album out. I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep pausing. But I'm just working on rolling the album out and just all of my videos and everything like that. I'm just recording right now. It's the holidays, but I'm coming like first quarter, you know, to really just do my shit the way I do it. You know, I mean, I, I think that at this point, my fan base, they really know that I'm super anal about just what I put out and what I give to them because you know I just feel like they've supported me in in such a major way and I don't ever want to put out anything that's like not up to par but I think that this album is really going to be dope I'm getting some really dope features on it and I'm excited well I'm excited for you especially being young you because watch when you get older I ain't saying I'm much older I'm only 28 but when you get older yeah you look back you will see, like, all this hard work you've done. And there's so many people out there that's watching you that you, like, don't even know, like, crazy stuff. Like, a lot of people be like, yeah. Beyonce don't be on Instagram. Meanwhile, she's scrolling, watching your videos right, and right. stuff. So, like, you never know. But I'm extremely, extremely proud of you. Thank and you so much. Continue doing what you're doing. And thank you so much for doing this interview with me. Oh, no problem. Thank you for hitting me up. I definitely <laughs> want to do another one when my album comes out. So I'm, I'm here. Back. I am here when you're ready. (laughs) So thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. All right. See you later. See you later. All right. Bye. All right. All right, y'all. And that was the interview. So I hope that you guys really liked that. She was very, very sweet. And um, y'all, this album is going to be crazy. (laughs) This album is going to be crazy. That's all I can say. I mean, I hope that y'all are ready, but we pulling out all the stops, bitch. 
We come up with everything we got. <laughs> nah, it's a fact. We come up with everything we got. So I just really want y'all to know, like, I'm not fucking around. Um, I've seen some people ask me, like, why I wasn't in Cabo. And it's because I had to be here, girl. I got to get this album done. You know, I'm glad my friends is turning up. And I'm glad that everybody's doing this end of the year turn up. But my end of the year turn up is for the next two, almost three weeks. I'm finishing up what I got to do. And um, I hope that y'all really, I hope that y'all are feeling it. I think this album is going to just show my growth and like just where I'm, where, what I've been through and what I'm kind of going through and where I'm going with that. So, um, oh, mommy, thank you. Um, so I'm just really, really, really excited about everything. And I, I just, I got Kyra here with me. He got the flash on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to get this shit in order. You feel me? What's up, Jatavia? Thank you, girl. I know you can't wait. I got to send you some. Um, and I just, um, I'm so grateful, again, to all my supporters, all my fans. Um, you know, like me and my team, Kyra and Bree, Damar, my Um, Julian, um, J3, all of us, we put in <clears throat> so much into just my shit and, and how I do it and just to kind of really know that you guys really support it and appreciate it, even down to the coldest winter being like, Number twenty one, like on on the iTunes chart, I didn't even put that out with that intention. I just really put that out for y'all to just have, you know. So I'm grateful. I'm very grateful, and yeah, I'm, I'm getting over my cold. I'm not sick. I'm getting over the cold, but um, I just really want to say thank you guys so much, and I got to go ahead and get to work. So, you know, I can't be on here long, but just know that the album is coming and stream Coldest Winter and stream Take Three and stream Love and make sure that you stream the OG of all the projects. It gets better. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. And well, actually, we're just using the flash from the iPhone. So that's the because somebody said I just want to know what light you're using. It's the flash <laughs> from the iPhone, and um, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you guys so so much for tuning into my live, and I hope that y'all loved it. And I'm gonna save this live. So thank you.